tonight. And I tell you what, you've got the top 10 cars all very capable of getting up and picking up a win and actually don't count out, makes that the top 12. Rob Muhlenberg and Donnie Oz start in the 11th and 12th position. Both of those cars could very well be a factor in this race before it's all said and done. John Langton picked up the win earlier tonight, but the track much different than it was earlier in the night. So we'll see if they've made the right adjustments on that 35 Langton welding machine. Yeah, plus a little bit of water went down on the racetrack as well. We'll see how that all shakes out. Right now, cars working in that moisture that uh, we laid down just a few minutes ago. Should be very racy as they get ready to go green here very shortly. Right now, checking the track over just to kind of see what we're looking like. All right, getting the lineup readjusted just a little bit, and then we'll go back under the green flag. All right, Keith Pratt shows the field one more to go. And we'll go green next time by. Green next time by, Keith Pratt will turn them loose for 15 laps, Midwest Modified, ready to go. Can John Langton double up tonight? We're about to find out as he'll start on the pole. He looked strong earlier. We'll see if that car is just as good as it was the first time. Gilbert Rowland starts to his outside. Here we go, coming off turn number four on the gas, green flag in the air. Already green wide as everybody jockeying for position in the car on the move is Colt Cheevers. Car number 45 already up into the top seven. Off turn, all oh, problems for John Langton. Oh my, John Langton, car number 35, coming off turn number four, big smoke coming out from underneath that 35 machine. And I'm not sure what happened to John Langton's 35 car, but by that'll put us under the green flag as they come around next time. A break for Lampy. Now he's up on the front row. A break for Gary Krebs. He'll start inside row number two. I think this may be the best starting position for Gary Krebs in a long, long time. That car looked really good in the heat race earlier tonight. We'll see if he can cash in as we get ready to go under the green flag. Keep your eye on that Colt Cheever machine. Also, Donnie Ost, Rob Muhlenberg, some of the big names that are starting deep in this field. Gonna be a dandy as they get ready to come off turn number four. Lampy leads them in, here we go. Rick Lampy in car number 17 leads the charge down into turns one and two. He's all alone by himself and he's bringing Gary Krebs with him who rides along in second. Gilbert Rowland battling with Ken Walker for the second position, for the third position as they cross the start finish line. Cole Cheever's making a three wide through turns one and two as he's headed for the front. Donnie Oss right in his tire tracks as he also goes for the front of the field. 
Coming down to the start finish line, Rick Lampy in the 17, Scott Gary Krebs to the outside. Those two battling for the number one position. Krebs pulls out ahead down the back stretch, they go. Gary Krebs, 26 car out in front. He'll work through the center of the speedway, down the front stretch, he'll lead this lap. Colt Cheever's making a big move down to the inside of Elijah Keeper. Colt Cheever's trying to work his way up to the front. He's mired back in the traffic for now. Gary Krebs coming off turn number four as Lampy fights back down on the bottom. Rick's tire 26 car out in front. Gary Krebs leads the field. How about this battle for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth? Colt Sheavers is going to make it three wide to the outside of Ken Walker. Scott Campbell on the bottom. Colt Sheavers clears Walker, now goes to work on Campbell. Philip Jackson going one lap down as the cars go inside and outside. They all make it through. Down off turn number four. Here comes Gary Krebs, this time giving five car lengths over the 17 of Lampy. Look but out for Colt Sheavers. He's coming fast. It's a 45 machine on Cold Cheevers in car number 45 working on Rick Lampy for second. And he's going to have it. He crosses the start finish line. Cold Cheevers is up to second. He's a man on a mission. Started back in 12, already up to second in one more as he's in the tire tracks of the leader. Coming off turn number four, the battle for the lead. A car link separate the top two. Lap traffic is going to become a factor here very shortly as Gary Krebs is getting ready to work up to a lap car. He's got Colt Cheevers on his back bumper. Krebs goes to the bottom, and Colt Cheevers is going to follow in his tire tracks. Cheevers tries to look down to the bottom. That 45 car really turning through the corner as well. As they come off turns one and two down the back stretch, it's a side-by-side -side battle for the lead, and they'll have a ton of lap traffic ahead. Lap traffic in very large quantity will start to become a factor here within a lap or two as Colt Cheevers looks down to the inside of Gary Krebs. He's got half a car on him. He caught him quick, but Krebs putting up a good battle. Gary working the top side, Colt down on the bottom, and this time it will be Colt Cheevers, your leader. Colt Cheevers in the 45, gets around Gary Krebs, now goes to work on Jackson in the 55. He pulls that car down to the infield, problems for the 55. The battle rages on, but Colt Cheevers holds on to the lead as he crosses the start-finish line. Colt Cheevers leads Gary Krebs, and now Scott Campbell up to the number three position. Lampy back to fourth, Donnie Oss to the top five. Colt Cheevers getting ready to catch the lap traffic of Burton. Also, Nikki Reedus is there as well. And Corey Carter in the 28. How is it all going to shake down? Colt Cheevers takes the top side of the racetrack, starts to pick his way through the lap cars. White flag in the air. One more time around for Colt Cheevers. He's been close this year and had a really tough time getting the victory lane, but looks like tonight's the night. Off turn number four, final time. It's the 45, Colt Cheevers, victory lane. Gary Krebs finishes second. Scott Campbell third, and that battle for second was very, very close. And I believe Krebs may have got it. Donnie Oss, I believe, finishes up in the four spot, Lampy fifth, and a nice run there for the KC General Store Midwest Spotify. And just like that, the Casey's General Store Midwest Modifieds put a fantastic feature in the book. And even more fantastic for Colt Cheevers in the 45 car. He was a man on a mission from the drop of the green flag. He had one mission, and that was to get to the front and stay there. And that's exactly what he did. Colt Cheevers is your Casey's General Store Midwest Modified feature winner tonight. Colt Cheevers, one of those drivers of many in this area that first cut his teeth up at the Dallas County Speedway, making a lot of laps around the flat quarter mile oval up there near Urbana, Missouri. And it's paid off for him tonight here at the Springfield Raceway as he is your feature winner.
Reliable Chevrolet B Modifieds. Roll. And before we call them out for you, we're going to call Colt Cheevers out of the race car. 